yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to Jay's Strategies and another great video about the cryptocurrencies and the crypto market. The top 10 to 20 top crypto market cryptocurrencies. Don't forget to hop on over to our Twitter page. Like and retweet, guys. We drop information all day, every day for you guys. There's all kinds of different news articles and much, much more. You can even see today we dropped an awesome article. You guys got to go ahead and hit this and read this, man. Wow, I think this is one of the biggest things today. Apple, Apple Pay, Apple News. Very, very bullish for the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Let's go ahead and hop on into the crypto market. Total market cap coming in at $2.1 trillion. Excellent, guys. We are up. We are looking good. Up 2%. That is a major gain in an overall market cap. Bitcoin sitting right below that 44K. We know we have that overhead resistance at 44. Very, very tight at that area. Ethereum really made some strong moves. Your Ethereum's coming in at 3,181. Then we got the Binance at 421. XRP coming in at 888. Cardano $1.20. Solano 114. Woo! Let's go, Solano. All right, guys. An avalanche sitting up here in the number 11 spot coming in at 89.14. Let's go ahead and hop into the charts. First off, we have Big Daddy. Big Daddy Bitcoin on the one hour. As you can see here, we test it. One, two, three hits to the high. Are we going to stay and ride above this 50 EMA on the one hour? Well, let's see. Because what could happen is the Bitcoin price will come back down, test this 50 EMA at 43,620, and then continue on to the upside that would be a bullish move now if it gets down to the 43 600 level and breaks below then we're looking for the psychological levels that appear down here in the m1 pivot zone okay so be prepared for those areas a strike high area coming in bitcoin here at the 45k that was a really quick grab but it was an excellent move for Bitcoin overall. Market structure looking nice. Four hour chart, longer time frame. Let's see what's happening with the Bitcoin chart. So you can see the different sessions and how it spiked high, pulled back during um, the sessions right before New York. New York picked it up and that's when it rode these EMAs here. So you see how it keeps wicking out and hitting the EMA and we're kind of high right now. So I want to see if we hold above this daily open on the four hour chart and which is going to be the, the 44, actually even like a 44K even range on the uh, daily would be something like really nice to, to watch because you can see the Sydney spikes there too. So let's go ahead and peek and let's see where we can land for the Bitcoin price. Look at that. The 50 EMA coming in. We're tapping that on the daily. We rose above it. We retested it. Woo woo to the upside. That is very bullish. You see how we broke above it. Okay. We retested it. And now we held. The question is, do we ride above the 45K for a daily to make it towards the massive moving average overhead resistance at 46K? Well, let's see. We have some bullish channels that we're looking at. We have a big green vector candle that came back in here. So they could actually strike off because the people that are going long right now have liquidation points right in this area, guys. So be prepared, be easy. Let's go ahead and jump into the Ethereum charts. Guys, before we go on, let's hop on over to Jay Strategies and just go ahead and hit, give me a retweet, man. Give me a shout out. Let's just rock out. Let's rock out together. Let's make some really good news. Put out some good stuff and some good content for you guys. All right. Let's see what Coin Market Cap has. Coin Market Cap, a little bit different numbers, but you know, same different thing. Today's biggest gainers is some really biggest gainers on the market. Bitcoin in seven days up 15%. Charge looking healthy and nice. 15% in a seven day average, even including number four coming in below the US tether as a 10% on a seven day on Binance, which is really, really good. I ended up buying into BNB. We'll talk about that in a second. Some pretty cool news has come out. 
Bitcoin data futures with uh, physical sediment go live. So that's really nice. A lot more trading happening for Bitcoin. More volume, higher prices. Bitfinex uh, recovery spurs, crypto community responses. Good responses, good team support and all this. Bitcoin Lightning Network growth. This is amazing, guys. Bitcoin Lightning Network is going to process so many payments, which is so bullish for the Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. JP Morgan, what? A bank? A bank is talking about Bitcoin? Do you hear it on all the shows that are happening nowadays? Yeah, guys. Cryptocurrency is taking over. Ethereum at 3,186. We're just going to hop over to the four-hour chart so we can look at it. And the one-hour chart to the four-hour chart. So if you want to look at a smaller time frame, it's probably better to look at this um, one-hour here. So let's go ahead and check out some zones for you guys. So you see how they're fanning out. This is what we want to see right here. And uh, right now we have our green vector. We topped off here at the 32.15. So we could see a pull back to the 50 EMA, which is right here on the one hour, which is at 3,100 even. And then a bounce off which is a retest off this 50 EMA and continue to the upside. So when we get back to the $3,100 um, level, be wary and watch and see which way we will decide to break, okay? Let's see what it looks like on the 4-hour. You know, we're, we're pretty far from it, but what I like to see here is, is that the EMA is coming up towards the price, you know, and not the price pulling towards the EMA. So that looks like we can actually shoot for the stars, you know, and hit that $3,500 mark by the end of the week. So, a very, a very bullish on Ethereum at the moment. Binance, I said I was going to hop into BNB over here. BNB on the 4-hour is riding this important moving average here. They kept testing the moving average, fell below it, tested it, couldn't hold it, totally rocketed it, crashed a bunch of trades out of there, and now they're once again testing this. Okay, guys? So, let's go ahead and see how we're going to rock out. Until next time, one love, J Strategy.